Welcome to Mary Ann's Alaska Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some delicious scalloped potatoes. They're simple and they're always a crowd favorite. And we're going to be serving them with some gorgeous red Alaska king crab. The best stuff ever. And we're going to have some ribeye steaks with them. And we're crossing our fingers. The store is gonna have some oysters, but I'm gonna get going on these uh, uh, scalloped potatoes, so let's get cooking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just, just gonna have a dice up an onion with my newly sharpened Japanese shun knives that I love so much. Best knife I've ever had in my life. And so worth the money. You can buy cheap knives and They'll last you a little while. These stay sharp. You don't have to sharpen them, but like once or twice a year, and I cook a lot. So that's saying something. I'm gonna put those at the bottom of my pan, and they're just gonna cook with the potatoes and give them really great flavor. I'm also gonna put in uh, seven garlic cloves here that I'm just going to slice. I'm not gonna mince them because I don't need to. They're gonna be cooking a long time with the potatoes. So just slice, 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 slice. And just this fast. And then I'm gonna get to doing my potatoes. I happen to have, it's just a simple mandolin. It's not fancy. Rinse my potato. And it's not on lock. Put it on two and just start. Now, if you don't have a mandolin, you don't need to worry. It's not important. You can just slice your potatoes as thin and uniformly as you can get. But this does perfect little slices and then I'm going to stack them up as they come up the mandolin like that. So I'm going to do that until my pan is full of potatoes and I'll be back. So if you don't have a mandolin just cut them thin. I've got it real sharp and I can go through them just as quick as the mandolin probably but I'm getting a super uniform cut when I use the mandolin. My knife is super sharp. Like I said, I just sharpened it. So if you are doing this with a knife, make sure your knife has been at least dragged along. Knife sharpener. So just that fast, there's another potato and we're gonna have six people, seven people. So I need to make a lot of potatoes. So I've made a potato for everybody. We're gonna have seven people. So I've got seven potatoes in here. You want one potato per person. And then I'm gonna mix up my cream, which I'm gonna put in about two cups of cream. Some salt, and I've got a lot of potatoes here, so I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of salt. And about a tablespoon and a half of pepper. And then I always add this to my potatoes. Um, I've got about a cup of Parmesan, just, you know, the cheap stuff. And then I'm gonna mix that in and I'm gonna top it with some shaved Parmesan, the real, real deal. So into that Parmesan, cream, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna throw in a little milk, about a cup of milk. I need enough to get all those potatoes. 
So the only other thing that I added to the potatoes, but it's not necessary, is about a tablespoon of Trader Joe's Green Goddess seasoning blend. But like I said, these are gonna be very flavorful even if you don't have it. So I've got that all mixed together and I'm going to pour it on my potatoes. Try and do it a little evenly. And there's my seven potatoes for seven people. And a lot of people put in a thickener like flour. This does not need it. It will come out thick and creamy and perfect. Get that scraped out so I get all that goodness onto the potatoes. And it comes up about halfway up the potatoes. They're gonna steam and soak up, and they're also gonna reduce in size as they give off their water. So they'll all be covered with that delicious sauce. And then, like I said earlier, I'm gonna put in on top some shaved Parmesan cheese. So that's gonna go over all the potatoes. And then I'm gonna put some chunks of butter on top, just so nothing dries out. These are gonna go into a 400 degree oven for an hour. And that's all there is to it. They're super easy and they're so delicious. You're gonna love them. dot them with butter. Try and do that every like three across. So there gets to be a little bit of butter on all of them. And this will be a total of about two and a half to three tablespoons. with butter. They've got that delicious sauce and onions and garlic to flavor them. And they're going into the oven for an hour. 400 degrees. And we'll be back when they're done.